Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ntoani Ngomani. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to this video. So you've seen all the girlies, you've seen all the guys posting their relocation content. They've moved from South Africa to another country. They look like they're living large. They look like they're enjoying their lives. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I want that for me but i am scared you know like it's a big decision to make like i really want to go but like i am terrified and Dwani, i've heard you a couple of times on your ig you've spoken about this but i am still scared okay in today's video i'm pretty sure you can tell by the topic we are talking about all things <laughs> moving countries and oftentimes we feel scared so i'm here to address that because i've been there so over the last week i feel like i say this a lot in these videos and that's because like a lot of things happen during the week that inspire me to shoot certain types of content at the end of the week but anyway over the last week i was watching a video by lamede and she was talking about um lamede is a a, a british um youtuber and she was talking about her decision um that she made to move from london to dubai and basically the reasons behind her decision and i posted that on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram you are truly 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 missing out on the between the week content so you might want to consider following me there and i posted it on my stories and i just shared how moving um cities or moving countries altogether has changed my life and i just said you know what if you're scared if you're feeling some type of way please dm me and let's have a conversation and a lot of people dm'd me like a lot of people dm'd me and they're like hey i'm in the same boat i want to but i'm scared i don't know how it's gonna go and all of that and i spoke to quite a lot of people on the dms but uh someone actually said please just do a video and address this so other people as well can benefit and so this is the video i'm shooting this video on saturday and i'm uploading it tomorrow so like this was like a rushed video which was not even in my content plan for the month but anyway let's do this put on my glasses because i need to see the first thing right and maybe let's talk about why people get scared and i i totally get it because i was there before so we get scared because one we are uncertain right the decision to move countries is scary because you're not sure how it's gonna go um you're moving into a completely new a completely different country different currency different weather different people different food um you know you're living your life behind um, to move to this unknown right and so obviously that comes with fear it comes with uncertainty and that is uncomfortable so we as humans tend to stick to the things that we know the most we tend to stick to the things that work that we have tried and that our bodies and our minds have become um, accustomed to and that's why this decision is so scary because you know when you're going on the other side that there is no familiarity but what can you do to make this decision making better so i think the first thing that i want to mention is that try to address the fear and addressing the fear comes from you assessing where does this fear come from what exactly is it that i'm afraid of is that, are you afraid of leaving your parents are you afraid of leaving your family are you afraid because you don't know where you're gonna stay uh maybe you don't know what is going to happen when you get there why are you afraid address the source right so for me a year not a year ago a year ago i was here two years ago oh my god i can't believe it's been <laughs> but okay let's say over a year ago when i was making the decision my fear was i don't know what's gonna happen with my family like i've always been home i've always had the ability to go home at any given moment at any given time and they've always been able to visit me so my fear was just that separation like that long distance like i felt like something bad is really gonna happen to them if i'm not there like i if anything happens i wouldn't be close enough let me put it that way right and that was the source of my fear like i was terrified of leaving them and how did i address this i told them guys i want to i really want to move but like 
i am scared that if i go something's gonna happen to you guys and i won't be close and i won't be able to come home right away and 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 we had a conversation about it and they were like no but that is why we took you to school so that you have these kind of opportunities so that you can take up these opportunities it wouldn't be fair if we then stop you from taking these opportunities um just because something might happen to us so think about what the source of your fear is and try to address that if it's the family sit down talk to your family um because it's also important that your family supports you in this decision because you're going to need them <laughs> yes they may be far but you're going to need them so that's the first thing the second thing if you feel like you know what i know the source i have tried to address it or i have addressed it and i've i've, I've confronted the fear but you still feel like i am just still afraid okay i am just terrified i'm scared i don't know what's gonna happen i want to say do it afraid take a leap of faith and do it afraid look no one ever does great things with 100 percent certainty um and 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 you just need to take a leap of faith book your flight book that hotel pack the bag go to or tambo board that plane fly and hope and pray that things will work out because it, mo most likely than not they they will they will work out so do it afraid um take a leap of faith put your trust in god and pray about it and pack up and go that that is it that's it and then the next thing is maybe to also help with this fear and the decision making think of it like a short-term decision because a lot of us tend to think about um moving abroad is like a long-term thing like oh my god i need to be there for so long and oh i don't know if i'm going to survive that long but like think about it as a short-term thing also if your firm or your company offers secondment maybe consider secondment before you commit to a one or two year uh, move just go have a feel for the country go have a feel of the environment and see if you like it for three months and if you do like it for three months then you can ask them to extend um and if you don't you can then just pack up your bags and go back home so we tend to think like things decisions we make are permanent but they're really not um and you can always just try the short-term route first before you commit to anything long term if you don't have the opportunity of a short term maybe try a year i think a year is a good uh period it's a good time to sort of have a feel for a place a work environment a country because three months is also a bit short <laughs> three months is also a bit short you won't be able to do much you'll be working a lot of the time and with us with our line of work the first three months of the year are like the busiest month so you probably won't even get time to like travel a little bit and all of that so maybe six months to a year i would say is a good period and then after that you can decide if you want to stay or you want to go i feel like that makes it a bit less stressful and less scary you you stop thinking about it as oh i'm going to this place for two years and you just say oh, i'm going to check it out for six months that feels a bit better and then the last thing is comes from the the point that i just made that you can always change your mind guys you can always change your mind yes i know you're scared you don't know what's gonna happen but if you get there and it, it it's just not the place for you you just don't like it you can always change your mind um i i i used to have a manager um who said to me and <laughs> Tony, when you're making this decision a lot of you guys think this thing is permanent like when you think about maybe getting into a new job or moving a country uh, moving countries you tend to think this is a permanent decision but it's actually not permanent like you can change your mind three months into this thing you can resign and you can move back home if it doesn't work out for you so i guess that's what i want to say like you can always change your mind you can always resign nothing is permanent if you get there and you don't like it just hand in your resignation and go back home if maybe the country is the problem you can then just move to another country and i hope this makes it feel a lot less scary if you still feel like you are scared you are terrified um look at the source of your fear if it's because you don't know what's going to happen when you get to that country you you struggle with i don't know where i'm gonna stay research those things like having the information also helps you to ease your fear because if you know that okay i'm, go I'm gonna land at heathrow 
um at this terminal and this is where i'm gonna get the uber this is the hotel i'm gonna go to like when you have things planned and your body and your mind knows what's gonna happen step by step it eases the fear so try to research as much as you can also with what you're gonna do when you land um how you're gonna get into contact with people sim cards um transport from the airport to your hotel where what hotel are you gonna stay at you know stuff like that like just try to research and just try to make this as easy for you as possible if you still feel like and i know i heard you girl i am so terrified drop me a comment let's have a conversation um i show you guys it's not as scary as you guys think it is once you land and once you find your feet you will realize it feels like it'll start to feel like home honestly it'll start to feel like home that's what it's felt like for me for the past year yes i've missed my actual home in south africa but london has started to feel like home like when i'm on vacation and you know sometimes when you're on vacation you're like oh I can't wait to get back home to my bed i don't think home south africa i think home london because now this is my home so guys look we'll always be scared of things we don't know and the thing is if you stop yourself from trying out while you have the opportunity you might regret it later so just take a leap of faith um hope that everything will work out do it afraid do it for you do it for your dreams do it for the experience just just do it just pack up book that flight and just leave <laughs> that's all i can say and i hope you guys i hope this video has helped you guys and drop me down a comment if you still feel like you're a little bit scared if you have made the move recently or uh, some time back please drop down comments uh, or drop down tips for others who are still making the decision so we help each other up so we you know it just makes this thing easier for them um you know but either way um thank you guys so much for watching click like if you like this video it helps with the algorithm to suggest this video to people who are in the same boat and who can find this information useful Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.